Welcome back to the new review. Alright, so today we got a pretty big box here from Walmart. <clears throat> now it is not a Walmart brand or anything like that, but that's where we bought it from. Because uh, it was cheap. Actually, no, I don't think it was. Uh, it was cheaper than some other places, but um, I know it's supposed to have one uh, like two day shipping. It took like a week because it got delayed. So, so, but we get it open and show you what's inside. So. Alright, so this box is so big I had to move everything and I'm standing up because it's so big. So let's get it open. And then cut all the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I bought air. Yes, sir. Wow, that's a lot of air for this guy. There it is. Wow. Now it's nice. Look at all this open space, though. It's like. Seven inches of open space. Oh yeah. Okay. And there she goes. That's nice. Sorry about the sound. It's a really crappy old stand, but it does its job, you know, it does its job. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's pretty open. Unsatisfaction, but yep, there it is. Oculus Quest 64 gigabyte because it was a lot cheaper, but it is what it is. So it comes with a VR headset, two touch controllers, double A batteries. Oh, it comes with batteries! Wow, power adapter, eyeglass spacer, and the charging cable. Let's look at the back of this boy here. Woo! Ooh, I knocked over my microphone. Sorry about that. Let's see if it's angled right. So it requires an Oculus account, internet, and a phone for setup. So it's all in one VR. So you don't need to plug it into a laptop or a computer to be able to run it. Precision controllers with Oculus Insight tracking and touch controllers. Every move, punch, and throw are instantly translated into VR. And has easy setup into any room so you can play in any space. Very nice. Standing, sitting, space is big or small. All right, so where do we open it? Where do you open the box? Because like, I don't wanna, I mean, I guess I'm gonna take off the whole wrapping, so it doesn't matter where I start. We'll start right here. Okay, that didn't really work. And it wasn't very satisfying, so we're gonna start at the top. So hopefully this doesn't mark up the box itself. I don't think it's sharp enough. It's a very dull knife. Good thing I have this guy. A Humby knife. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, it's not sharp enough either. Sharp enough either. Come on, baby. Cut. I'm trying to cut it, but not cut the box. Don't cut stuff like this, guys. Just, just don't. Oh, I messed up the box. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's satisfying right there. Okie dokie. There we have it. Oh, so it's a slide box. That's why I was so confused. I was like, where do you open it? It just slides. So we'll slide it out. Goodness, I can't. 
There we go. Ooh. Got the nice Oculus O. Just a plain black. Very nice. So it just lifts right off. There it is. Oh. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. So this is the first like really expensive thing that I've ever bought. I got it for $470. And it is the first VR headset that I have gotten. So this is the spacer, I guess. We have the power adapter. I can't tell. And it's USB-C. Gotta love that. USB-C is the future, people. And it is a USB-C, USB-C to USB-C cable. As you can see, very nice. And it looks to be probably like six feet, maybe. Six foot cable. Okay, so now let's move on to the real, real thing. So we'll just lift it from here. Pretty lightweight, to be honest. So you got these little stretchy bands all over. You got the Velcro straps on the side and on the top. You got cushioning. Oh, wow, very soft. It's a sort of fabric. Is this volume controls? What is this? Maybe something to do with the lenses, probably. Insert controller batteries, press and hold the power buttons, turn on headset. And of course, Wi-Fi is required. Then you got this clean look on the front, Oculus. This looks to be a microphone. And you got four directional cameras. And again, more fabric. Very nice. So we'll just set this off to this side. Ooh, this is soft padding. <laughs> I know it has nothing to do with the thing, but just send it soft. These are smaller than I thought they were. So, oh, I was pointing the wrong way, but still small. So, it'll be like this. It's got probably a left trigger and a right trigger, I would assume. But yeah, I thought it would be bigger. But it's, it's cool still. Satisfaction. Oh, wait, does this not come off? Oh, it does. I'll be able to hear it because of the buzzing in the background, but just in case you can't. So we got, looks to be a home button maybe right here. Got our joystick and a B and an A button. Very simple, very nice. Oh, and then here we got the X and the Y. And then you got two more triggers, joystick and a pause menu maybe. And you got this little guy right here. I don't really know what that is for. Maybe so you can do this. You know, it has more like directional stuff. Maybe. Not really sure. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That would make sense, you know. Okay. So there's the box. So now let's get it set up and we'll be back. I already set it up though. I wanted to do this real fast. Ooh, we got some of these guys. Let's take them off. Nice, look at that, super clear. Nice. Okay, now let's set it up. <laughs>
Alrighty, so we get it all set up. We got it going. Here we are. So, just a little review part of the video. So these guys are actually magnetic. And that's where the battery goes, and it comes with batteries. And they seem to be decent. They're Mitsubishi Electrics batteries. And then you got this guy, which again comes with the USB-C to USB-C charger. And it's got all these little adjustable straps. Very nice, like rubbery silicone. Uh, what do you call it? Head holder thing. So that spacer that was included in the box is a little like plastic frame thing that you put under this foam and it's like to space out from the lenses to where your face is going to go and it's made for people with glasses like me so that's very convenient that they included that in the box very nice and i think these lenses are glass very high quality materials all around and you got this really like sturdy plastic these nice foam nice lenses this fabric these like rubbery like surfaces it's just very high quality overall and then also with the controllers and it's quite responsive very easy to use and maneuver and learn how to use and maneuver so it's not hard to get started um, then it comes with the four cameras on the front of course and it like scans your surroundings and you can set up a border so that like if you're gonna cross over it'll show you like on your headset that you're crossing over the boundary that you set so you don't run into things that are around you so that's pretty cool if you were to step out of that border it'll use the cameras to kind of show you where you are and it's just in like black and white but just to show you like what's around you so you don't possibly get hurt so that's pretty cool and since it's an all-in-one of course it comes with the store and browser and all the apps on here and this is the 64 gigabyte sounds like nothing compared to like xboxes playstations you know out here with like terabytes and stuff but most of the games are like really small like the biggest game i've seen it so far is like six gigabytes so the battery life on this guy is not very large but i mean it's not super inconvenient to have the charger plugged in you just kind of can't spin around because you might like unplug it and mess up the cord or the, the plug-in but um if you just like get on use it for a few hours get off put it on the charger get back on you know it's 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 not too bad you can get around it pretty easily and it's enough to last like a full you know play session so it's not bad now i this is the only headset that i've ever had only vr headset that i've ever had so i can't really compare it to like the rift or the htc vive or any of those other competitors in the vr headset realm but i would say that it seems to be that there's no need to have a pc to to get those more high powered VR headsets because those all require PCs or like PlayStations or different types of devices. But this is all you need to play VR games on a VR headset. And it's only like 500 bucks. If you were to buy a Rift, it would have been like $600 more. You need to have a high powered PC and also get the headset itself. And then in order to use the headset, you gotta plug it into the PC. So this is just way more convenient way easier to use way cheaper and I mean the quality is there you know it's all it's a VR headset so if you're looking to get into VR gaming and you want to start off somewhere easy and somewhere cheap oculus quest would definitely be the way to go and maybe you can move up from there if you want but I mean I don't think you have to really Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Yeah. Peace out.